How would you like to wake up to a clean house every day without even lifting a finger? As a parent, you now I've spent half my life cleaning up after my kids, and it's, it's pretty tedious. And he's right. The average person spends one to five hours per day on household chores. That's like 15 to 76 days per year spent on mundane tasks that nobody enjoys doing. Think about how that time could be better spent on more fulfilling activities. But there's this big problem. Robots today are like the first flip phones, functional but limited. They can do basic tasks like a Roomba scooting across the floor. Let's think about what it's going to take to evolve into a comprehensive robot maid. Believe me, this is a huge leap. I'm always ready. It's not just big, it's huge. But we're certainly getting closer to this type of technology. See, your robot maid would need to see, would need to hear, would need to process and learn from its environment. Far beyond the Roomba's basic run into stuff type navigation. The ability to combine advances in language processing, AI vision, and robotics into one functioning unit will be the differentiator for robot maids. The robot won't just follow commands, but will process data and adapt to its environment. It's my belief that robot maids are gonna happen sooner than most people think. I want you to imagine it's early morning, 2034. You're sound asleep, but your home is quietly humming with activity. Your robotic maid, affectionately named Rosie, is already up and about. Unlike a human maid, Rosie is a full service robot, skillfully navigating through the clutter in your home, picking up toys and books left out by your children. Rosie knows exactly where everything goes, having learned your family's preferences over time. You see, Rosie is not just a robot. It's a personal assistant that grows with your family's needs. It can fold laundry and recognizes each person's favorite way of folding. And I'm willing to bet that many of you have a dryer full of clean clothes just waiting to be folded. You know who you are. It talks with your family, waking your kids for school and reminding you of appointments and syncs with your digital calendar. Even your elderly parents find Rosie helpful. It gently reminds them to take their medicine and helps them move safely around the house. They're not just tools. They're personalized, adaptive helpers in your home. And they're going to free us up to focus on more important things, like spending time with our loved ones and friends, pursuing hobbies, and reducing stress. And we're getting closer to that reality. The field of robot maids is rapidly evolving. Dyson, Tidybot, and Tesla's Optimus project are making significant progress. Dyson has made strides with its robot made prototypes, and it's aiming to establish the UK's largest and most advanced robotics center. Their developments were prominently showcased at the International Conference on Robotics and Automation. According to their website, they're spending millions of dollars to retrofit a robotics facility with plans of a total of 250 roboticists. Roboticists? I think that's the word. It's Roboticist. I just looked it up. And their vision includes advanced domestic robots to go beyond simple floor care and offer new possibilities. Tidybot offers a unique collaboration between industry and academia. It stands out with its advanced learning capabilities using a large language model and can infer where items should be placed. Tidybot's success rate in real world tests is impressive, correctly organizing 85% of items. And then there's Tesla's Optimus project. Tesla Robotics wants to develop humanoids capable of performing a variety of tasks, which according to this video includes household chores like folding clothes. The Tesla bot is envisioned as a bipedal autonomous humanoid robot designed to take on tasks that are either dangerous, monotonous, or uninteresting for humans, like cleaning the house. The realization of this vision hinges on the development of sophisticated software systems. These systems are crucial for the robot's stability and movement, and its perception capabilities to interpret and interact 
with the world around us. Not to mention Dyson, Tidybot, and Tesla, they're all tapping into a rapidly expanding market with home cleaning services estimated to be worth $40.38 billion by 2025. That's freaking next year. The potential impact and adoption of robotic maids like Rosie, that's immense. But like any other advancement in technology, there will be disruption. And disruption brings benefits and risks, challenges and solutions, good actors and bad actors. Right now, the size and agility of those robots are still in question, especially when we think about having them around children. Sure, some have touch sensors to stop them upon collision, but there's more to consider. Beyond the rarity of building the hardware, other challenges include ensuring data privacy and its learning process, maintaining long-term reliability, and adapting to varied home settings. Affordability and ethical concerns about replacing human jobs are also something to think about, as is preventing skill loss in users. And obviously, safety for all household members is paramount. I mean, have you seen Runaway with Tom Selleck? During the movie, the domestic robot gets reprogrammed to kill a family. You got an audio on that? Yeah, confirmed all three sounds as a 357 Magnum. Yes, you got a gun. Now what? With all that in mind, Elon Musk predicts there will be 1 billion humanoid robots on Earth by the 2040s. And I don't know about you, but I'm excited about what the future holds. And I would love to have a robot made clean my house for me. You must ask yourself, are you ready to embrace the future of robot maids? Let me know what you think in the comments. And if you want to know what this channel is all about, watch this video.